What a win in a drag race between a Bentley Continental GT Le Mans edition and a Bentley Flying Spur Speed. Well, we're gonna find out by drag racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Let's first of all go over to the driver, or should I say chauffeur, who's driving the Flying Spur Speed. You playing chauffeur today, mate? Hi, Matt. Um, it's very luxury. The colour's a bit meh. I'm not sure, but I like your car. Your car's very nice. My car is not only very nice, it's also very special. But before we find out about this car, let's first see how much you know about the car you're driving. Shouldn't you have your little chauffeur's hat on, though, by the way? I'm going to keep on pushing your head with this chauffeur thing, and you, you're not acknowledging it. Yeah, to be honest, if you own one of these, you should be a chauffeur or sitting in the back, really. Anyway, this is a Bentley Flying Spur Speed 6-litre twin-turbo W12, like the old Bentleys. 635 horsepower, 900 newton meters. It's all-wheel drive, 8-speed dual clutch, I'll have you know. 2.4 tonnes, and this is not cheap. £245,000. Well, I'll take your £245,000 and raise you quite a lot to £330,000 for my car. That's a Bentley GT. How is it £330,000? Are you kidding me? I'm not lying. Okay, so it's basically got the same engine as your car. A 6-litre W12 twin-turbo puts out 660 horsepower and 900 newton metres of torque, and it drives all four wheels via an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. The thing is, this car has been built to celebrate 100 years of Le Mans and Bentley's six wins at Le Mans. The last one, which was in 2003. It's got like this special plaque on the dash. Also, only 48 will ever be made. I mean, it should be 24 because it's 24 hours of Le Mans, but they thought, you know what, we can make a bit more money. Let's double 24 to get 48. And there's also something else a little bit special about this car. So if I rotate the screen in the center of the dash, so it starts off on a satellite navigation screen, but then I can rotate it and it reveals some old analog dials. Only on this particular car, the middle dial has half an engine valve embedded as a kind of showpiece in the center of the dash. And that engine valve is one of the engine valves that's been cut in half that was taken from the Speed 8 Bentley winning Le Mans car from 2003. That's why this car costs so much money and it has some special paint and some other bits and pieces. What do you think about that, Yanni? That is one minute of my life I'm never gonna get back. That was so boring. That's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> okay, shall we move on then? <laughs> yes, please. At least the weather's nice. <laughs> At least the weather is nice. I tell you what's also nice, selling your car through CarWow because it's just so easy. So all you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then you'll have dealers all across the country bidding on your car. Just pick the highest offer, they'll come to your house, take the car away, and put the money straight into your account. There's no faff of having like random people coming at your house and looking at your car and asking all kinds of random questions about it. It's dead simple and it's completely free as well. Now, if you want to do that now, just click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling help me car wow we will help you sell your car now before we race we're going to do the customary car wow sound check so i'm going to rev up this bentley okay so we have a rev limiter at 3000 rpm yanni can you rev up your car i imagine it will sound kind of similar though mine does have an akrapovich exhaust oh, it limits at 3000 that's um, not great Actually, can you hear my car from where you're sitting? You probably can't because the insulation on those is so good. Let's put our windows down so we can hear each other. No, that's better. That's mine! I can't hear any exhaust, I'll be honest with you. All I can hear is engine and the car shakes a little bit. Can you hear mine though because of the Akrapovich? You're talking a lot of Akrapovich today. <laughs> I'm always talking a lot of Akrapovich. Let's do it. Oh, before we do, if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on because until you've done that, I'm not drag racing. All right? Okay, all right, even if you haven't. Now, if you want to compare these cars stats side by side, you can by just pausing the video now. One other thing I should mention, you may see a few warning signs on the dash. Reason being, uh, the day before we had this car, some other journalists returned it to Bentley with a crap windscreen. They didn't tell Bentley about this, so they had to do an emergency replacement. And um, it's thrown up a load of faults because apparently this is not the right windscreen for this car, so it has to be reconfigured, and hence the faults. But the car's fine. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
all among us. Well, this is um, very luxurious. Yes, I'm feeling the 24 hour spirit. Drag racing. Powering the car along to this resounding victory. I think I won that. Yeah, I'll be honest. The quarter mile seemed very, very quick. I was just sitting here cruising. Launch was a bit poor, um, but just very luxurious. I don't even know what speed I was doing. Just I just cruised to the line. Yeah, it's effortless. This didn't seem bonkers quick, though the time is pretty blooming good. It's just the way these Bentleys go about their business. I'm just gonna have a look at my valve. In fact, do you want to come and have a look at my valve? Come and have a look at my valve. Let me look at your valve. You have to come out. Just open the door, I can look from you, here. You won't see it from there. I can see from there. No, you can't see it I from can. there. Come on, get out. Come and have a look at the valve, it's worth it. God, can we do s***? Doesn't pay me enough money to be getting in and out of the car. Let me see your valve. Yeah, look in here. So I've got this screen here. Look. It's half a valve. They took a valve and they cut it in half. That's one. £330,000. Half a valve. Mate, it's a Bentley GT. It's a 180 grand car at most. But there's a valve. I, I don't get it, I, I don't get it. Matt, I have a question for you. As I saw you just turn around, there's a big seven on your grill. What is that seven for? Uh, Yanni, I think you'll find that the number on the side of the 2003 Le Mans winning Speed 8 was seven, hence seven on the grill. Wow, you are so knowledgeable, man. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Three, two, one. Come on again. <laughs> it was closer this time, though. It did a better job. That's 80 mile an hour. That's very quick. But it's not enough. Oh, look at him getting dropped. He's pulling on the car. The back really drops down on his car, doesn't it? Oh, waftage to the winnage. I'll tell you what, mate. When you accelerate, the way the back drops down looks great. And then when you slam on the brakes, the way the front drops down looks really, really great. I still don't get the 300 plus thousand pounds, but it's very nice. Are you, are you coming over to see me? Hi, Matt. I want to show you this as well. I'm not getting out. Look, look at this. Come over here. No, I'm not getting out again. I'm not getting out again. I wasted my time getting out just looking at a stupid valve. I'm not getting out again. Just come, honestly, come over here, look. It's worth it, it's worth it. Such an idiot, this guy. Such an idiot. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 come in here, look. Can you see this, all right, these little plaques here, right? That's 1924, 1927, 1928, 1929, 1930, and then 2003. What is each plaque 55 grand each? Something like that, but they, they represent each year that Bentley won the 24 hours of Le Mans. 330 grand, see? Yep. So we've got little, little things on the dash yep. and you've got a valve in the centre console. Yep. A normal Bentley GT is what, 200, 220? Something like that. So it's 100 grand more for these silly little things. But only 48 will be made because... Okay, tell me it's got a number somewhere to say one or 48 or whatever. You know, look here, look. Look, chassis number four of five. So that's only five cars. Yeah, but I think it's supposed to be 48, so I don't understand that. But it does have some numbers there, which is good. It's, it's got some numbers. Tell me you don't think this is worth 300 plus grand. Uh, that answers it all. It's got that valve. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Continental GT Speed won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.5 seconds. The Flying Spur Speed took 11.9 seconds. Okay, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in their comfiest settings, their full on relaxing, super luxurious, Bentleyist settings. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was just like neck and neck. Oh, it's not bad to be fair. Now we should see the added performance of this car. Look 
very like too fast for tire pressure how is that for you darling so i got too fast for tire pressure but i still stayed on the gas of course and you know when you slam on the brakes it just breaks very nice nothing extreme nothing aggressive just brings you to a nice stop I had the exact same tyre warning as well, just telling me that I'm going a bit too quick. And no, I didn't back off either. Right from the get-go, we were just neck and neck, but then this steadily just walks away, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the extra 100 grand that you've got, mate. I do think that racing car half valve is having something to do with it. I really do. It's just, I don't know, it's like giving off some kind of like racing aura. If I'm honest with you, take this colour away though, because I wouldn't want the colour, but I'd actually prefer to have this over your car. Of course it's wrong. Now we go have another rolling race, once again from 50 miles an hour over the half mile, but this time the cars are in their sportiest setting and they're in manual mode for the gearbox and third gear. Three, two, one, go. Oh, thing is this though, auto shifts in manual. That is not good. Oh, and in for a split second. Yeah, there's a tire warning, but the fact I've got more horsepower than him is showing there. So for a split second I had you, and I got to 160 miles an hour very, very easily. It is all just easy, isn't it? All very easy. This next thing might not be quite so easy, but let's do it anyway. Finally then, we're going to a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Whichever car stops in the shortest distance, wins. If you'd rather watch another crazy drag race with a bunch of Bentleys, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. If you want to see what car breaks in the shortest distance between these two, stay here. No. Hey. Okay, do you know why you just beat me quite convincingly? Uh, no, but I know you're going to tell me. It's because I was busy pointing at my valve and my plaques when I was reaching the line, which meant I just overshot slightly. I'll be honest, mate, you wouldn't have beat me anyway, so don't worry about it. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know if you think this Bentley is worth the money and you disagree with Danny or you agree with him by voting in the pink comment. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to check out our drag race leaderboard and compare the standing quarter mile times of both these cars to everything else we've ever raced. Thanks for watching.